Hey guys and welcome back to another View It For Me video uh, where we just review anything and everything, uh, things that get sent out, things that I choose, things that you choose and um, yeah feel free if you see anything around camp that you want to um, have a bit more look into just uh, sing out. Um, like anything anything that gets sent out I will let you know. Um, this one kind of was but kind of wasn't. I'm going to be very biased about this one because it, uh, it's actually a mate's little business that she's got going. Uh, she's from back at my hometown in Serena, uh, North Queensland. So her and her apprentice, Amber, uh, they both do a great job on what they do. So I'll give you a look. Um, I'll still be honest about it, but there's really nothing you can fault about something like this. Uh, they have really good quality. To give you an idea, I'll give you the measurements. So there are three different ones. Um, there's your larger pot, I think it's 38 litres. This bad boy is around the 20 litre. And then she does a smaller one again, which is 10 litre. So it's like more for frying stuff. Um, you can do your prawns, I still do crabs in this one. It's just I went this size for a more compact for traveling around. And then you got your big one, which is quite a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, anyway, across the actual pot itself with the lid on, which is any a fraction wider, is 28 and a half or so. Height is about 300. Um, handle to handle is 38 or so, plus you got the handle on the, the uh, lid itself. So I'll crack into it. Um, I just put this on here because that's the lid. I just strap it all down so everything fits in it too. So I do have the kit which has got the cooker and everything in it, but I'll let you know more about it. Um, so yeah, I'll just put a strap on there, holds the lid down, keeps everything locked in there for when I'm on the road. Um, one other thing I will do actually before I even get started, this is all stainless. To give you an idea, like I said, that's a 20 litre pot, got a bit of weight about them. I'll give you, I'll let you know how much weight there is to it to give you an idea. Um, just to show you, it's not cheap stuff. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to be biased. No. <laughs> um, so, what are we? We are 10.7 kilos for that, but I'll show you what's inside it. So we have the lid. Nice little lid. It is really good quality, guys. Um, I can't definitely can't fault it. I've had this kit now for oh, Christ, I think I've had it since just after 2020, 2021. I think I might have got it off her um, when I went back through home. So that's the lid. Comes with your handle, little notches on the side, so when you put the lid on. It stays on, doesn't come off. So we'll take everything out. Comes with your gas hose, gas line. Ah, uh, so this bad boy would be, I'll give you an idea. So where were we at? Just after, from there to here. The hose is about, well, it'll be close to 1600 long. So that's the hose, comes with your regulator, all good fittings, like they're good quality. Um, inside, so this is part of your cooker, I'll take it all out and I'll, I'll get to it. That's just a spanner, I put that in there, I'll show you why. Take this one out, so that's the actual base, that's the actual base of your cooker. And then we have the the strainer, obviously, so you can put your prawns, your crabs, anything in. I've done quite a bit in this. Um, so yeah, that's your strainer. And over here is your actual pot. It's got your two handles on the outside. So we'll get to it. I absolutely love this kit. I really do. I don't know if it's because it's shiny or what. Um, I'm not sure, but I really do like it. <laughs> uh, so. With this kit, I'm not sure about the smallest kit, the 10 litre kit, but this kit here, the whole lot fits in into that, like you just seen in the pot. And there's only one thing you gotta to put together, which obviously gas hose and all that, but with the actual main frame itself. So that just goes in there. It's got a uh, bolt on the bottom. Flipping nuts go down and just screw him in. 
And um, why? That's why I have this spanner in there. Over there. So with the spanner, it's just a matter of you know everything's in the kit for me, and I can just tighten that up, straighten him up, and that's her. So that then hooks up to that end. You get the gist. And that there goes to your gas bottle. And here you can regulate the heat. So open him up, more flame. Turn him down, less flame. So that there is, is the actual cooker of the whole thing. So that can throw out some heat. Holy, it can throw out some heat. It does not take long for this to start boiling. That's for sure, that pot of water. Uh, I think that's what they wanted. They took their time to try and find a decent jet, you know, burner or what, not, whatever they're called. To, uh, for that reason so it's a bit more efficient it doesn't take long and not just this you can buy these separate like i said i've got the whole kit but the cooker itself you can get them separate um, you can use them for your cooker when you're camping no such thing as wind when you're cooking with this thing near this you can you can really throw it out and you can cook it low enough so it's it's a nice heat too you're not burning the shit out of everything so that's that Give you an idea what that weighs even this here the cooker itself we'll just i'll take that off that hose we'll get this out so this here alone weighs 2.8 kilos so that's that's just for that and that's the size of that thing you know what i mean <laughs> it is good good stuff um over here bring them back give you an idea on a nice flat spot. 4.7 kilos for your pot alone. So, just to give you a gist, um, one thing I would recommend, show this back in here. It's just brilliant, it's really handy. Like I said, I've, I've had a mate from NZ, he did a big boil up in it. Um, I've done cherubin up at the Cape, uh, crabs, down the, you know, mid case. Um, yeah, just anything. You can really, you can cook anything in it. You can deep fry in this bad boy. Geez, you can get a whole chook. Imagine putting a whole chook in that, you know. If that's what you want to do if you had a big gathering or something like that. Anything. We'll show them over there. Throw that on there. So we'll bring this out. So all I did was, um, obviously i camp and i camp a lot on beaches and that so the sand you can put that in the sand sometimes the sand's a bit loose and that you know it can be uneven for it so i just you can use anything for this a bit of three mil alley cut out a bit bigger than this this is just what a little hot plate that sits on one of them single canister burners you know what i mean um yeah so i just i had it for ages didn't know what i was going to do with it but didn't want to throw it and that's why i didn't throw it so i just usually throw that in the sand Nice base for it, throw that down on it. And obviously your cookie goes on top and Bob's your uncle. Pretty mad, eh? So, very, very easy. No, it's not that hard to use. Uh, it does its job, <laughs> what it's supposed to do, I guess. But yeah, so, not much more I can really say about it. Um, so yeah, Megan, um, she is, like I said, a friend from back home. She's uh, just a one-man band in a big world, so doing her best, and she's, from what I know, she's doing quite good out of it as well. So she stood. It is really nice work. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it is really well put together. She, she is antsy, but I guess that can be good in some ways, can't it? <laughs> uh, she's a good chick. Along with, and she's doing good now because she's just managed to put herself an apprentice on, which is Amber, and I met Amber when I was there last time, and... They're like two peas in a pot, them two. <laughs> I don't know how much work they get done, but no, they do. They're, they're flat out there. So, good on them. And, yeah, if you want to support them, well, yeah, this is what they do. They do have a website up. Uh, I'm not going to try and guess it and say it because I'll say it wrong. So, I'll put the website in the uh, description. Not only do they do this sort of stuff, and like I said, they'll sell them separate. They'll sell the pot separate, so if you have just a keg and you wanted a cooker, well, Bob's your uncle had a cooker and you wanted a, a, um, you know, a pot for your crabs, well then you can just go do something like that. Um, but also, 
Ah, uh, they do. These dead little things. Crab measurers. Same thing like the rest of their gear. It's not cheap. That that in itself probably weighs about 900 odd gram, you know. Um, also has a stubby opener, which is the main thing. But uh, this is the Queensland edition. I do believe they do one for every state. Queensland has your mud size, uh, your mud crabs, and then your sand crabs. At the moment, I think I need a Northern Territory one because I'm in the NT. But yeah, she does do one for each state from what I can recall. Uh, so that's another thing she has on a little shop. And also, well, I've just noticed um, a while ago she wanted to do, what are you, uh, I think what they're bloody called. Um, like how you get your heat beads started they're just like a burner but you get your heat beads started in them so she just i've just seen them go up so now they're doing them as well which they look they they're like you know you get your heat beads started for your camp oven or whatnot yeah they're one of them but obviously the same quality as the rest of the gear they do so probably not much more i can say about it like i said guys it is decent <laughs> it it's just to look at it through the video to actually feel it and you know grab onto it yeah you'll know what i mean if you end up going something like this but anyway hope you enjoyed this week's view it for me video i'm um i'm actually getting keen to go show some pots and to to uh get some crabs actually it's been a while since i've used it ah then i'll catch you later oh. <laughs> what are you doing someone wants to be on the video here <laughs> little bit cute eh say hi mm. see you guys